I'm Greg Martin, and I'm the Executive Director of DRAW, or Disaster Relief at Work. Uh, if you've heard of us, and we assume you have if you're watching this video, then you know that our main mission is to respond to natural disasters around the U.S., things like floods, hurricanes, and tornadoes, uh, with supplies and volunteer services uh, to help people take one step back toward normalcy. We've done this for eight years, and we've taken teams around the country uh, to help out on the ground. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic that we find ourselves in the middle of, we've had to kind of refigure the way that we're going to do our response teams, which is why you're on this video and I'm talking to you today. Uh, we have three major things that we do that we want you to watch videos on to learn how to do. Uh, and once you watch those videos, that will be your basic training, and we want to be able to have you ready for when you're on site. So you can check out any of these three videos, but the three things that we do first is patching roofs. Uh, after windstorms like tornadoes or potentially hurricanes, uh, roofs can get damaged, and one of the things that we do is patch the roof quickly to help mitigate any damage. Uh, if you are going to be a part of uh, a response team that's going to be doing that, you're going to want to watch that video. The second thing that we do after major storms is we do uh, muck outs or flood cleanup in homes. Many times people's uh, basements or first floor of the indoor of their house is damaged because of the water and so we have to help them with cleanup and pulling things out and we've got a video that we want you to watch there. If your team's going to be doing muck outs, you're going to want to watch that and learn how we do those things. And then finally, the third major thing that we do is outdoor cleanup. Uh, or debris cleanup, which will often happen after windstorms. Things like down trees, down branches, uh, buildings or structures that are destroyed. We have to clean up outside and we have uh, kind of strict procedures that we use there. So if you're going to be part of a team that's doing that, you're going to want to watch that video. Now, if you watch any of those three videos, you will then be prepared for the team that you are on. And I want to let you know that if you're going to join one of our teams, there's some things you can expect. Obviously, you'll have corresponded with us already, and we will vet you and background check you and communicate with you. But if you're going to be on a team, there's three things. First, uh, the night before you uh, volunteer. So let's say you're volunteering on a Wednesday. On the Tuesday night before, we will have a Zoom call with all of the team members uh, that will be working the next day. That will give you all of the details for the next day, the nitty gritty about the homeowners and the specifics that you're going to need. The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is the morning of uh, the day that you're volunteering, you will need to self-certify uh, your health and your symptoms. You'll go on our website and you'll go on, you'll take your temperature and you will certify that you don't have any symptoms uh, the day that you're going to be working. The third thing that you need to know is that when you arrive on site to work with one of our teams, we will have all the PPE that you need, the personal protection equipment. At bare minimum, we'll have N95 masks for you to use. Uh, we may even have uh, ventilators for you to use depending on the work that you'll be doing, as well as all the other PPE. We're excited to have you. We appreciate you checking out DRAW and wanting to volunteer with us. Check out the other videos, like I said, so you can learn more about the work that you'll be doing with us, and we'll see you on site.